Hey guys, it's Matthew David Hurtado, CEO of RNADrops.com and Earth1Essentials.com. And I have a really cool um, short webinar with a friend, uh, Joanna Garzilli, who is major in the world of intuition and helping people, mentor, coach, etc., bring out their full potential and step into the new life that they want to live in. You get to be, do, and have what you want, right? That's what you want, isn't it? Well, that's what I want. I'm always looking for the next assignment where I'm supposed to be. Here's a little tip that I learned about life. Prosperity is only guaranteed at your place of assignment. In other words, until you start doing what you are supposed to do on this planet, what you came to do, prosperity is not guaranteed. What is prosperity? Prosperity is the ability to lend. Prosperity is having instead of wanting. And prosperity is money. It's health. It's uh, relationships that are satisfying. It's all good things. It's all the things that you want to saturate your life with. And for some people, like myself included, several years ago, it seems that there's a disconnect between what you want and how to get it. What I discovered in the process of becoming the person that I always wanted to become is that when you live from your heart-centered true potential, your full self begins to emerge, all these things come into your life. So stay tuned for the offer, watch the webinar, I'm going to show you how to get a free canister of Alter Rush, a free Bliss or Tea Spray, and a free Complete Essentials RNA Drops. So participate and I'll see you after this brief interview. Hello everyone, it's Matthew David Hurtado of The Natural Health Report and today I have a rock star entrepreneur uh, by the name of Joanna Garzilli on with me and I want to tell you a little bit about Joanna. Joanna is going to help me and she's going to help uh, Sabrina and, and potentially you if you want to get involved with this in a workshop called The Art and Business of Intuition. Joanna's done everything from uh, being a producer at MTV to corporate finance to being a serial entrepreneur uh, and now she has a book coming out that is an overnight success after 20 years of writing and what's really important about that is I remember going out to visit and attend a workshop that Joanna did and it was the I believe it was the Conscious Life Expo in uh, California and that was about six months ago and I remember I went to get a book from Joanna and this is how good she is she didn't know me anything about me and she put in the book you are an amazing healer and drew a picture in there and I, I saw it I said how did you know so with that said Joanna how did you know intuition <laughs> so it's it's that thing where you know intuition is being one of the aspects of intuition is being able to notice those subtle energies and so when I met you well first of all I mean you were this just radiated light and when when I see someone that is radiating light what do I mean by that it's sort of like almost if you were to you know when you go into a church and you see those um, stained glass windows and you'll see the halo around the person you had that energy emanating out from you so if I see that around someone it's it's a high probability that that person is a natural healer and that you know, for you, my sense was you're already, because you are radiating that light, you're already doing that in the world. For other people, they have that light, they have that energy, but they haven't yet stepped into using it to be able to help others like you already are. Yeah, I thought that was that was spot on incredible. And that was just confirmation of why I came to check out your work, because I, I just felt intuitively that it was the real deal. So tell us about this workshop. What, what are we going to get into and how's it going to benefit the people that want to attend? So the art and business of intuition, it just, I was, actually I was out at an event the other week in, in Phoenix called Celebrate Your Life. Mm. And so I've gone to a series of different workshops there. Typically I'll be speaking at an event, but 
I went to that event as a participant because I think to be a good teacher, you've always you've continually got to be educating yourself and learning from other teachers. And <clears throat> I was in a workshop with a weekend workshop with John Holland, who's a psychic medium, and Colette Baron Reed, and 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 they both have hearts of gold. I mean, I just think their work is fabulous. And as we progressed through the weekend, and I saw them, and I saw Denise Lynn, who's another you know classic speaker. Um, I just got this massive download that I needed to go and 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 put this 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 event this course together, which was really about you know how do you use your intuition in everyday life, but really to create that that connection where it builds and builds and builds to the point where it it's literally like you don't then have to think about how am I going to go and do this? How do I plug into this intuition? It just happens and it is, it's turned on within you. <clears throat> so the main, like the foundation of the course is going to be about connecting to the power of your soul. And also when we have a group of like-minded souls coming together, it raises the, the vibration, right? Increases that frequency mm -hmm. to be able to connect into the intuitive part of yourself, to access it in a way that it hasn't been possible to you before. So each week we're going to come from a different angle of connecting with spirit, of meeting your spirit guide. Everyone has a spirit guide and all the years that I've done readings, it's very rare that doesn't someone doesn't have a spirit guide there. And if they don't have one, someone, it's not a big deal. We just, we call someone in for them. Mm -hmm. um, the other things we're going to do are make a spiritual plan. We're going to connect to the energy of the music of your souls. This was something so cool that I've, I, I always talk about, um, and I talk about this in Unleash the Psychic in You and in my first book about this, um, about sometimes how loved ones will connect with us through music. But there's something that where we have the music of our own soul, right? Think about when you hear a certain song on the radio, right? It's just like, it can just take you out of being in a funk to feeling fantastic mm -hmm. or, or something that you hear a song and it evokes a memory connected with a loved one that might have been from 10, 15, 20 years ago. So you're, you're going to find like your own power song and then you're going to find the music, the song that you share with many others. So for example, an example of that would be like um, John Lennon, Imagine, right? Imagine yeah. all the people. Like there's a certain resonance for people on that song. And then sometimes there's a special song that you just share with one other person. And so if someone also is looking for finding that new relationship or enhancing a current relationship, connecting in and finding that song is going to bring in that energy to create healing within the heart that's going to make that relationship or enhance a current relationship. Mm -hmm. So those are, and there's more, we're going to do a lot of soul clearing, energy clearing, right? Everyone's heading towards the new year, new goals, new inspiration. And so we have to clear the past because you don't want to take that baggage into 2016. Yes. Now you did this yourself because you have a thriving seven figure business and you have a celebrity list of who's who people come to you from all over the world to learn how to do what you do and to consult with you and you're going to be able to help people in regards to everything from business to relationships how did that play out for you how did you tap into that how did you discover that you had this ability for the longest time i i had this ability and and i and I helped a lot of people, but I didn't understand how to go and translate that into generating income. So, I mean, I even when I think back to when I was a child, I would always be off socializing and just meeting complete strangers and, and love that aspect of people. I've just always been fascinated by people and, and being able to really see a person, the sensitivity of their soul. As I moved into my teenage years and being... Uh, uh, London club girl, I was always going, oh, you, you need to connect with so-and-so and so-and-so. So people would do business together. And then I was always putting together uh, people together on blind dates that worked out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd always have my friends come to me uh, about relationship stuff in the middle of the night and, and be able to help them through that stuff. And then I think it was really when I I first read Richard Branson's book, Losing My Virginity, that I realized that the reason why I couldn't stick with a job 
longer than a year and a half period was because I just, I, I love multiple businesses and I just love problem solving. Mm. And so, and I get bored easily, probably just because I have a voracious appetite for learning things. So, so that was how I, I started to create that shift, that transition into, into doing this work. And, and, and I think that the, the biggest thing was that it was, it went from being a, a hobby where I was just sort of doing these things and it was fun. And then one day there came a point where I said, well, I really want to do this as a business. Mm-hmm. And then that opened up a whole nother set of learning of, I didn't understand that one has to invest, right? You, you've got to invest into your studying. You've got to invest into putting your operations, your systems in place. And so I went through a steep learning curve and, and, you know, and I will tell you that that learning curve has not stopped for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, right it doesn't the business it keeps evolving and changing as you grow to that next level yeah now that's great because a lot of people i talk to myself included we're always going to the next level and i found that the one thing that is so essential is to be able to get out of your conditioned mind and to trust your intuition it seems to always be right when you can actually get the right message so is that what we're going to learn we're going to learn how to get the right message so we can make the right decisions Absolutely, because something that I always say is that your intuition is always correct. Mm -hmm. It's just that one doesn't always listen to it or act upon it. And so the main way that I like to connect you to your intuition is through guided meditation. So every session that we get together on, it's going to start off with center, ground, connect. We center because we come from the heart. Mm -hmm. We then ground the energy, right? Because it's no good having all these sort of spiritual ideas or even just say ideas for success in business, but then later on being disappointed when you hear someone else has gone and done them, right? So the importance of grounding that energy and then connecting, making sure that we're not driven by the ego, not fear of competition. And so as, as we, through each session, through that meditation, then that opens one up to the deeper teaching so that the subconscious mind doesn't kick in and go, oh, I already know that. Yeah, well, it's one thing knowing it. It's another thing putting into practice. Oh, I know I need to do that on social media. Oh, I know I need to go out there and, you know, and put this certain thing into practice. But then it's like, are you doing it? What are the results that you're doing? So what are the results that you're getting? So we're going to just like keep peeling back the layers to get to the heart. The heart, from that heart-centered heart open space which you you know were radiating that when we met that that then really opens the channels of abundance it opens channels of healing but it also means that one can be a stronger leader because we have as you know there is just a lot of stuff going on in the world right Mm -hmm. now what we've just had with paris which what is unfolding in europe what the things that are happening on a global level that you know anyone that feels that calling to make a difference in the world you know we've got to not be scared we've got to step out there and i believe that it's about if you can make a difference one person at a time through the gifts that you have that can have a really powerful impact rather than feeling overwhelmed and going oh my gosh like look what's happening in the world i feel powerless yeah that's right um one of my old mentors bob proctor used to always say that praxis is more important than practice p-r-a-x-i-s is what you talk about when you bring it and put it into application. Everybody seems to have the right answers, or so they think, but they're just having a problem with that application process. So practice is definitely important. And tell me a success story of somebody that's worked with you, and let's get an idea of of what we can expect. I know all results are not typical, but tell me about somebody that has come to work with you and, and some of the changes that you've seen. Okay, well... One of my clients that comes to mind, um, she started off with her business. She was doing around three, four thousand dollars a month, and and really wanted to take things to um, a next level. And she went through one of my programs, um, Big Miracle Breakthrough, and started to. At that point, she went through that course. She and she generated. She started generating around nine thousand a month. Then she came to me, and we started working together privately. And then she reached thirteen thousand a month. And she said to me, "You know, I really, I have this bigger goal. The the 
what I've seen for people is always when you want to go for something bigger, there is a breakdown before the breakthrough. And that's something that we're going to cover in the art and business of intuition, mm. where we're going to look at as you step up to that next level of success, certain things are likely to fall apart. And so we're going to, you know, I'm not saying things will fall apart or go wrong, but I want to make sure that each person has the tools to be able to then break through. Because I remember that she was absolutely terrified. You say Bob Proctor. I know that Bob Proctor talks about the terror barrier, yeah, right? Yeah. And so she went through, she experienced that terror barrier. And the main thing of what got her through that were I just kept connecting her back to her soul, kept connecting her back to that, to the point where she consistently had several months in a row of doing $45,000 a month. And her, it's not gone below that since. And I know that she's, and she ended up getting in Vogue magazine as well. And she'd always wanted to be written up in Vogue. So that was a really great achievement. Yes. Uh, I heard a story. It, okay. I read something. This is what really captivated me with your work. And I don't know how I find you. I, I guess it just people find the right people when the time is right. And I, saw something you posted on Facebook. It was about, I think you got an, a new car and you were talking about how, do you remember what that story when you said you just took it and you just about knew? Yes. Tell me the story about that. <laughs> it was so crazy. I mean, I, I have an obsession with sports cars. I've said like, it was my bucket list thing. Now it's, I've sort of got it out of my system, yeah. but I grew up, my fondest memories were being in the back of my dad's Porsche and we were, would drive through France and stop at all the chateaus and be listening to Pink Floyd, mm. the wall. It's okay, really cool. It was cool for me anyway. Yeah. So I'd always wanted a Porsche. And I remember the first car I got, my dad was worried about me having car accidents. So he got his girlfriend at the time a new car and I ended up getting her car. And she had had um, an accident with that car and so it had a dent in the side of the door. And I remember being so upset going, why did you give me a, a, a car with the dent in the door? And he said, well, just, you know, then if you have an accident, it won't matter. But what would happen is people would meet me and then go, oh, my gosh, you had an accident. What happened? I'm like, no, it's not me. It was my dad's girlfriend and da da da, -da this whole story with that. So I... I had desperate, so I had car shame, although I should have, you know, my attitude should have been, I'm really grateful that my dad's even getting me a car, and as a 17-year-old, that, that was the smart thing for him to do, yeah. but fast forward, I always, like, to, you know, love beautiful cars, so I wanted this Porsche, and I just couldn't imagine how I'd get it for the longest time, <clears throat> but I had a vision, I did, like, a vision, um, book I had one of those like legal pads mm -hmm. and I cut out pitch, pictures of Porsches and put, put them in there and at the time when we were living in Los Angeles we would go every weekend into the Porsche dealership um Eric who helped us there I mean I, I like he didn't you know he never rolled his eyes he yeah. never gave us the attitude of you're wasting time he always let us sit in the cars he was always really helpful even let us go on test drives. And so sometimes I felt like, oh, I'm wasting his time. I shouldn't even be in here. Um, fast forward to, I'd been doing like where I'd recorded a meditation for myself saying I have the car, I have, I have the Porsche, I have the 911. And then I got really frustrated. I think it was about nine months. I'd been doing it for about nine months and I went, screw this meditation thing and this the division stuff I have it's not working I'm just done with it and then it was my birthday and I had all this resentment come up around um, not resentment entitlement would probably be a better word that um, I had had a 40-hour labor when I was giving birth to my son and so it was my birthday and I deserved this car but then they didn't have the color that I wanted. And then I realized that, you know, I started going through the stuff in my head of I shouldn't do this. And, and this is like some of the crazy stuff that would go on in my head. Yep. Fast forward to about um, a client of mine. I said to him, you really need to go and get a Porsche. And so I remember taking him into the dealership to see Eric going through this whole thing and, um, and him saying to me, well, why don't you have a Porsche? And I sort of thought, yeah, but this is a good point. And then Eric said to me, oh, by the way, you got approved for the car. And I was like, I did. I didn't know I got approved for the car. And he said, and I said, yeah, but I don't think you'll have a color I want. And I don't want, I didn't want the black car. And he said, well, we've got this new color, rhodium silver. Mm. I remember like 
rushing back down to the dealership this was like a day later and then just going I've got to get the car and going up to the car getting in it Nick my husband Nick has it on camera where I was like crying and just totally excited and and that for me was it was it's not so much about the 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 car but it was just that I could actually do something for myself that I could achieve it and and I got so much joy I mean we had so many good times and then I recreated that memory of when I was in in the back of the Porsche I had then my um, at the time Dominic was four and I had him and my son in the back of the Porsche I got my Pink Floyd and I'd be driving through Sunset Boulevard and just going wow like this is just so amazing this is just so amazing for me and it was a very, very happy experience. And if it's someone else, they're going to say maybe like, oh, well, who cares? You know, why do you need that? But that was just like, I believe you can apply that principle to how I got the car to anything that you want to create for your life. It just, some things take longer to manifest than others. Yeah, that's exactly what I saw. I didn't see, you know, a car. I mean, yeah, cars are great. But what I saw was that that meant something to you. And that was your obstacle. And you, and, and you, the way that you handled that, I said, I said she has wisdom. I was, I, I, I can intuit wisdom. I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna read the book. I'm gonna find out more. And then you just, um, you know, I've been doing a process myself to get myself back on track with my goals. And then I get an email uh, through Facebook the other day, and you told me about this program. And I said, perfect. I'm gonna do this program. So I just wanted to let everybody know that um, this is what I want to get get started with, and I think it's a great opportunity. And I know that the spots are probably going to be limited because you are going to be working with people pretty direct. So the link is below. If you want to enroll in this program and be a part of a group with me and and do this, I think it would be a fantastic idea. Is there anything you want to share, Joanna, in addition to that? It is, it's going to be amazing. All I know is that when I get the call from Spirit to do something like this, it's yeah. never a coincidence who comes together. There is... Uh, a powerful energy of synchronicity that occurs and that I've just seen it over and over when I've done the groups there have been so many blessings and miracles for people and so if there's something where um, a person has been feeling like oh you know like I've done this and I've done that but how am I you know what's the point or why now I would say all the more reason to do it it's just the energy of this group is going to be incredible and the thing is is that you know, you will know if you're meant to be part of it because it, it's a soul calling. Your soul will call it, call call you. Yeah. To be part of it. Yeah, that's what happened with me. So I'm I'm really excited. I wanted to just make this brief and give everybody an idea of who you are, what you do, and let's give out your website so everybody can go do some background and and figure out exactly if it makes sense, if it feels right, and what is the website for you, Joanna? The the website is intuition dot joanna garzilli dot com perfect and i'll have it on this uh, webinar here in a link below you can check out the website and you can get involved in the workshop if you uh... don't miss out so take advantage of it now and that's all i just wanted to thank you for your time and i really appreciate you sharing with everybody um, what's going to happen here and i'm excited about it awesome all right thank you joanna thank you mm -hmm. take care Thanks. so as you listen to in the webinar, you know what I'm up to. I'm going to get involved with a workshop um, that's going to start on December 7th with Joanna Garzilli, and I'm excited about it. And here's why I'm excited about it. Because just like you, just like everybody else, we go through seasons in our life, and we reach the end of certain chapters and the beginning of new chapters. I've been feeling a calling in my call it a healing ministry, if you will, to embrace a new component. And I've been excited about it, but I've also been a little bit blurred in my ability to really hone in and narrow down the targeted niche that would be best for my abilities and capacity. So everything that's going with the company is fantastic. Everything is good, and there's always an additional something just like with you there's always something additional that your desire is yearning towards so if you're having a, a challenge clarifying with the new year's coming up and you have these goals and you really want to step into where you're supposed to be as opposed to maybe you know where you 
think you should be. There's see, there's always good ideas, and then like they say, there's always God ideas. So there's a good idea, and then there's the idea. And I have known this from starting businesses. I've started so many of them that you know several of them were no good. But the ones that make it, the real good ideas, those are the ones that make it all worth your time. So if you have some big, lofty goals, aspirations coming up in the new year, I invite you to participate in the course. And I want to give you a reward if you want to be on my team and come along as a referral and participate. It's something that um, you know I worked out on my own dime. I want you to have it. I want you to participate. I want you to be in the group. I think it's going to help in any way, shape, or form, just like it will for myself. You see, every person who's going to the next level has to reach. It's the job of the person seeking to reach for the mentor, and it's the job of the mentor to dispel downward the anointing, the blessing, etc. So I decided I'm going to work with Joanna Garzilli, and I have found that she is the one in my next chapter that I'm going to study with for the next quarter of the next year, etc. So what I'm willing to do, if you want to partner with me and you want to be in this group starting December 7th, you can enroll just like I did, just like Sabrina did. We get involved, pay it up front, do the course, and put your money where your mouth is and actually take action. You see, without action, nothing's going to change. So many people in this world, they say they want to do things. They're like, oh, yeah, I want to. I want to get a health coach. I want to get a you know a prosperity mentor. I, I really want to work with somebody. I want to really achieve something. They don't do anything about it. They just they want. They want to want to want all day long. But unfortunately, that doesn't ever get you where you want to go. When you really want to reach, you actually just take the plunge and you reach and you go on faith. Faith is what moves mountains, not wanting. So faith is what takes you into the next chapter of your life, and belief is what brings in the harvest and belief is gained from the mentor passed down to you and then it's like a flame burning and an, and an unlit match you put them together and the flame burns even brighter that's how the process works that is what you invest in you invest in wisdom and riches will chase you for a lifetime that's how I understand life to be so you want to get involved I have a special opportunity for you anybody who gets involved with the referral link that I put here until um, there's only 15 spots open actually so until they're sold out I have a special promo I have an altar rush I have a bliss or a tea spray if you're a man and I have a complete essentials RNA drops it's a $240 value that I am willing to give to you for your new life that you're about to start and it's called the feel-good kit the reason why I want to give you the feel-good kit is because that is, in my world, half of the uh, process. You see, to get to where you want to go, you first have to feel how you would feel if you were already there. You have to step into being the person who has already achieved what you desire. Alter Rush. Bliss. RNA Drops. For me, it's tea spray. Those three things make me feel really good and feeling really good is what I want for you so if you want to get started take the plunge today there's only well however many spots it shows on the, the the live ticker here that keeps track of everything so that's how many spots are left that's how many promo kits there are to give away and time's ticking New Year's coming around the corner where will you be in 12 months where will you be in 24 months and if you want to change your life, you've got to change your life. If you keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, you know that's the height of insanity. The smallest changes can make the biggest impact. And that's why I decided to take the plunge. And Joanna was so nice to reach out to me and invite me into this core group that she's putting together and extended the welcome to 15 people in my core group. So. I want to make sure that you are one of the ones that I invite. If you're on this webinar and you've watched it this far, you have qualified yourself as someone who is worthy of 
being in this group. Most people wouldn't watch this webinar. Most people are going to go back and watch mundane sports. They're going to go stuff themselves. They're going to go and do passive leisurely entertainment, and they're just going to watch their life pass them by, and that's okay because I'm not here to judge anybody's calling or a unique purpose in life, but there are some people, and I know there's 15 of them on my list for sure, who have a greater calling than that, and they're looking for somebody that can help them identify the major, major nugget inside of themselves and help them cultivate it and build the belief around it so they can step into that assignment, that powerful, unique assignment that you were created to be. You were created to be somebody and then the doing and the having come naturally. And if you're feeling like you're not being that person, then this is the time to take action this workshop right now and I want to reward you for doing it. So if the slots, um, if it says there's still some kits available, then grab one before they run out, take advantage of it, and you will immediately be rewarded with the Feel Good Kit as a welcome package and I'll see you guys there. So whoever decides to join, we'll see you there. And if you don't decide to join, that's fine too. Might not be the right time for you, and that's okay. So thank you, and take care.